We start with this canvas which I already painted this area blue and the blue it's already dry. With the fan brush you make sure the fan brush has plenty of paint and we can use two methods to start those clouds. We can just tap to create and just think of any shape. Remember clouds can be all kinds of shapes. Uh, we have no idea what kind of, it could look like a maybe like a some kind of animal here. And we go ahead and once we do that we start pulling some of that paint down very very softly. Very very softly. Maybe pull it here, pull it here, let it go that way. The next thing we do is we make sure that we dry we dry the brush, actually just put it on a cloth and remove the paint. You don't even have to uh, clean the brush and go ahead and start pulling. And again you do this by scrolling down, scrolling down and you start scrubbing. Scrub, 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 scrub until it starts blending into the blue sky. And you have yourself the first cloud. You can also create a cloud by starting to scrub from the beginning. So let's say that I want to put a cloud here. I want this cloud to be different but I'm going to start this scrubbing and see so keep scrubbing all the way until as far as you want to scrub. Clean your brush. By cleaning I mean just wipe it on a, on a cloth and then start blending by scrubbing, start blending the bottom. That's another way of creating a cloud. I'm going to create a few more clouds just so you get, uh, you can watch how I do it. Here we go, we put paint on the fan brush and we go ahead and decide maybe this one is going to be a little whirly. It whirls around and then we scrub, we scrub and we scrub this way and that way. We dry the brush with the cloth and then we blend the bottom by scrubbing. Scrub here you have to maybe scrub a little harder. At the beginning you scrub very lightly and you begin to get a different type of cloud. Now if you want to make this a little more interesting you may say well I want to add a cloud on top or right around here of this cloud. I'm going to add another one I start scrubbing, scrub this way, and scrub here, that, in that direction, pull over to the side. Now I dry it, and now I scrub very lightly here. So I'm going to pull it very softly, scrub very softly. But now, clean my brush on the cloth and go ahead and blend it into the sky. Okay, one more time. Do the same thing again. I'm going to maybe tap a little maybe or maybe I just scroll. I let it go this way, let it go that way. I want to create some kind of weird uh, creature here. And then I clean my brush with the, on the cloth. And now start scrubbing a little light, light, light. We don't do it too hard. Light, very lightly. I'm scrubbing. And once I've done that, then I'm going to Clean the brush again on the cloth and now I'm going to scrub a little harder to blend the bottom. Now the key to getting these clouds to look realistic is not to get rid of the white on top. You don't want to do that. In most instances you want to keep that white up there. If you want to add, fix a little something there you can say I took up too much white here and I really want it a little more. You go back, you go ahead and clean your brush. You scrub slightly, clean the brush again, and now scrub a little harder. And now you have something interesting. Now with what's left on the brush, you can then just kind of create clouds in the distance. And then in the distance here, how do you see it? Okay, I hope that was helpful. Thank you.